Israel's defense industry has emerged as a world leader in UAV technology, and according to Israel Aerospace Industries General Manager Tommy Silbering, it's because they were pioneers in the field. Uh, I think the, there are a few reasons. First of all, uh, the threats that came out in Israel were the first kind of threats that were not used in the world. Uh, the world is confronting today the same threat that Israel has, so we needed a solution at the early days. Uh, also, we understood the potential capability of the UAVs, and we had a customer that uh, was cooperating with us very much on, uh, on, on, on uh, embedding the system into the, 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 the forces. UAV stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. It is controlled remotely by an operator and can undertake a variety of roles from doing reconnaissance work to taking part in attack missions. This is a Hermes 900, the latest unmanned aerial vehicle from Albert Systems of Israel and it's on display at the Singapore Air Show 2012. It is based on the previous model, the Hermes 450, which has seen action in Afghanistan. The Hermes 900 is a medium altitude long endurance UAV and can carry 450 kilograms of equipment like sensors, radars and cameras. It can also stay in the air for up to 36 hours at a stretch. Israeli UAVs have seen action in conflicts all over the world. The Israeli Defense Force utilizes Elbit Systems UAVs in more than 80% of their missions and Elbit Systems President and CEO Joseph Ackerman says confidence in the UAV's performance is higher than ever. At the beginning, people were hesitating whether UAVs is going really to meet those expectations. But now, as we are flying, Elbit Hermes 450 and Hermes 900 and other uh, Elbit family UAVs, the confidence is being built up and more and more customers are using UAVs and the existing customers are using more and more UAVs in air mission, which previously was used uh, with uh, other type of missions. I won't be surprised if in the coming years, in the theater, we'll see close to 40 or 50 percent even air mission being conducted by unmanned vehicles. UAVs are becoming more important in present-day battlefields. In the current battlefields, uh, especially because the battlefield has changed, it's not a, a government to government uh, anymore war. It's between government and, uh, and, and terrorists, government and uh, different uh, communities and so on. Uh, it's not the, the usual battlefield. We're talking about battlefield. Information needs to be uh, on spot to all people uh, being around. Uh, it cannot be information uh, late because then the, the threat disappears. Besides the Hermes 900 and 450, another Israeli UAV on display is the Heron TP, which is Israel Aerospace Industries' latest UAV. It can carry equipment weighing over a ton and can stay in the air for 36 hours at a stretch. It flies at an altitude of 45,000 feet, which means that it is also less susceptible to ground threats. The Heron TP is based on the Heron 1, which is among the Republic of Singapore Air Force's fleet of UAVs. The Singapore Air Show is open to the public on the 18th and 19th of February. Catch our other clips for highlights of the air show.